morning to one and all. Myself, Dr. Akash Anand, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Civil Engineering, KIT's College of Engineering, Kolhapur. So today we are going to look into the another aspect of highway drainage, that is subsurface drainage system. So as part of module three, we are going to look into four different uh, parts uh, or the sub portions of sub uh, surface drainage system. So we have drainage of infiltrated water, control of seepage flow, lowering of water table and control of capillary rise. So these are the sub portions that we are going to look into uh, with, in regard to subsurface drainage system. So the subsurface drainage system, so the stability and the strength of the road surface and uh, heavily depends upon the strength of the subgrade as we have discussed earlier. With the increase in the moisture content, the strength of the subgrade compromise is compromised. Okay, the variation in moisture content of subgrade is caused due to the free water or the groundwater. Every effort is required or is needed in order to minimize the moisture content to the least possible level. From the usual drainage system, only gravitational water can be drained by the provision of subsoil drainage. Now first we have the drainage of infiltrated water. So during rainy season or whenever the snow melts, okay, uh, the water will find its way to the subgrade soil through the permeable surface of that jo uh, joining land, carriageway, shoulder area or the side slope and the cracks. So the removal of such infiltrated water from the subgrade is a very difficult task and it can be only accomplished by the arrangements which will be shown as a part of uh, control of seepage flow, uh, lowering of water table and control of capillary rise. So these are the three uh, types of uh, or the, uh, three means, uh, th uh, these are the three means of uh, controlling the subsurface water. Okay. So looking into one of uh, each one of them one by one. So first we have the control of seepage flow. The seepage may occur from the higher ground in uh, hilly topography or uh, it can also happen wherever the road cuttings are provided okay and also wherever the layer of the soil is permeable okay so uh, wherever the layer of permeable soil overlies an impermeable stratum will also affect the strength of the characteristics of the subgrade okay then the best solution is to uh, in this type of problem has is to be uh, is like intercepting the seepage water on the uphill side of the road. So if the seepage level reaches a depth less than 60 to 90 centimeters from the uh, road subgrade, it should be intercepted to keep the seepage line at a safe depth below the road subgrade. So the same has been shown in this figure if you look closely. So this is the sloping ground. Okay, here we have uh, provided a clay seal. This is the pavement and this is the filter material provided here. This is the perforated drainage pipe that has been shown. Now you can see the original seepage flow has been shown here. Okay, now by the provision of uh, controlling the seepage flow, you can see the seepage line has been lower down. Okay. So you can see below we have the impervious sloping stratum as mentioned here in the first point. Okay, so all these details have been mentioned in the uh, right up here okay. that uh, you can go through later. Okay, so this is how it is uh, done and this entire part is the seepage zone. Okay. Then you have the lowering of water table. So it has been divided into various criteria as it can be seen here. So what is the issue? The rising water table in the rainy seasons has the tendency to harm the pavement and the subgrade, especially in case of fine grained soils. Now what is the threshold? No subsurface drainage needed if the water table is more than 1.2 meter below the surface. Okay. In case of raising road, it is it becomes necessary if the water table is less than 1.2 meter. Okay. 
it, if it lies less than 1.2 meter. So then we have uh, lowering of the water table. Okay, in lowering of water table, we have to use sub drains on either side. Okay, for lowering down the water table, we have to use sub drains on either side. So longitudinal drainage are can be provided. Okay, uh, by using pipes and uh, filter sand for the permeable soils. Uh, in addition, the transverse uh, drains can also be provided for less permeable soils. Okay. The drain depth, it depends upon the roadway width, the water table reduction uh, that is required, the subgrade type and the trench distance. Pipe installation, uh, there we have to see, we have to avoid silting and scoring. Okay, then uh, we have the maintenance, use manholes and inspection chambers. So, these are the two cases that uh, we have seen in the previous slide. So both are uh, like you can see uh, the original groundwater has been shown here and we have we can see the drain pipe here and this is the water table that has been shown provision of clay seal has can be seen here and here we have provided the filter sand these are the longitudinal pipes as it can be seen okay so due to the provision of the longitudinal uh, drainage, uh, drainage pipes, you can see the original ground uh, water which actually was here has come down. Okay, it has been lower down which is shown here. Okay, in a similar way, here also we can see the provision of clay seal, the provision of longitudinal uh, drain pipes, what was the original ground water uh, level and now it has come down okay so these are the basic things that you should know that uh, provision of longitudinal drains um, wherever the permeability is high and provision of transverse pipes uh, drainage pipes wherever the perme uh, less permeable soils are there so in that condition uh, both of them can be also provided in order to deal with uh, uh, the water removal or uh, reducing the moisture content in the subgrade level then we have the control of uh, capillary rise. So here also the issue is uh, water rises due to the subgrade level due to the capillary action. Therefore, weakening it and compromising with the uh, bearing strength of that uh, subgrade. Okay. Now, what is the solution? In order to provide a solution, we have to implement capillary cutoff uh, measures in order to reduce the excessive moisture in the subgrade. Okay. So, what type of soil can be considered for this? We have the permeable soil and retentive soil. So, in case of permeable soil, uh, lowering the water table is economical. Okay. While in case of retentive soil, it is very difficult and it is very costly. So, in these cases, capillary cutoffs uh, becomes very important. So, there are uh, two types of capillary cutoffs. One is granular capillary cutoff and one is impermeable capillary cutoff. Looking into the detail of the same, uh, first we have the granular uh, cutoff. So here the granular layer is provided. So placing of a suitable granular material between the subgrade and the highest subsurface water level. Okay, so that has to be done. Thickness, thickness should be adequate. So ensure the thickness exceeds the anticipated capillary rise in order to prevent the water from rising above the cutoff layer. Then comes the materials. So, use of suitable sand and gravel blankets for effective cutoff has to be considered. Then we have the impermeable capillary cutoff. So, in this case, membrane can be used. So, use a prefabricated bituminized surfacing instead of a granular blanket. What can be the other alternative materials that can be used is uh, are like bitumen stabilized soil. We can also have uh, heavy duty tar or we can uh, have heavy duty polythene envelope as well okay so these are some alternative materials that can be uh, can, can also be used so here i can see both the types are mentioned first we can see the granular capillary cutoff so here you can see the uh, provision of uh, granular material that has been provided in order to avoid the capillary rise and this is the highest water table fine in a similar way 
instead of providing a granular material that we have seen in the previous case here we are providing an impermeable layer okay and we can see this is the highest water table and this is the capillary rise that has been avoided uh, or has been kept in check by a provision of impermeable layer so these are the two conditions of uh, controlling the capillary rise in case of uh, moisture is present in the subgrade level okay so so what we have uh, learned today is uh, in highway drainage uh, about the surface drainage and what are the structures that can be provided uh, the cross drainage structures can be provided for surface drainage and uh, then we have seen the various types uh, uh, of various ways of how to deal with the moisture content or how to reduce the moisture content in the subgrade soil level okay thank you